Hello everyone, this is Perfect Days here and welcome to my channel. And today I have several questions for you because I'm creating a tag about handbags. Okay, so my last video I did some decluttering with my luxury handbag collection. There were two or three bags I was hoping to let go of and Thank you to everybody who watched that video and gave their opinion. So at the end of the day, I let go of the Prada Re-Edition 2005 handbag in the nylon material. And I got rid of that one because I haven't used it all season. And I think that winter is a really great season to be using that bag. And also, I was a little bit tired of the nylon material. I also let go of the Louis Vuitton Epi Felici in the Rose Ballerine color because I have a very similar bag. Um, it is the Chanel Walk. It's also in a very similar pink color, and I like that one a little bit more. And um, there was a third bag that I was thinking about letting go, but I'm going to keep it for the time being. And this is the Louis Vuitton Easy Pouch in the black on print leather. And the reason for letting go of this bag is because it is a little bit small, and I also have like another black bag. It's the Chanel Walk. But what I really like about this bag is that I feel like it has a very timeless shape. And there's something about the emprunt leather that feels really nice. So if you've ever touched an emprunt bag, it's just a bag that when I hold it, I just really don't want to let go of it. And so I am using this bag a little bit more now to see how I feel about it. So I, it's today's bag for this outfit. And I think it matches pretty well. And so there's that. And because I feel like there's not going to be a ton of movement in or out of my handbag collection, I wanted to do a handbag tag video that's sort of like a reflection on my handbag journey. So the tag is called Never Have I Ever Handbag Edition. And so I have a bunch of statements on these papers and they're all related to handbags. And if I have done them, I will say I have. And if I have not done them, I'll flip this over and say I have not. And so you can answer these questions like down below or I guess in your head as you're watching this or you can create a tag video. I would love to hear your answers as well. And I made these statements quite a few months ago, but I never had a chance to like actually do this tag. And so some of these questions will be interesting for me to see as well because I kind of forget what I had written down. So let's get started. So the first one says, never have I ever got banned from a store. So I'm going to say I have not been banned from a store, although the worst that has ever happened was when I was at Prada and I had made two prior returns before I was making another purchase. And so the sales associate said that she needed to speak to her manager about me purchasing. And I thought that was really weird, but I did talk to the manager and the manager was nice and just wanted to make sure that I really wanted the bag. And so I've not been banned from a store, but I feel like that little interchange was a little bit of a warning. And in hindsight, if somebody was going to call the manager in for me to speak to them about a purchase, I probably wouldn't purchase it like today. But it was back then when I was a little bit younger. And so I did speak to the manager about it. I guess they just wanted to make sure that I wasn't purchasing and returning for whatever X, Y, Z reason. So I'm going to say I have not been banned from a store. Okay. Never have I ever bought a bag in one country and returned it in another. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to answer this as I have because I was actually gifted a bag. The person had purchased it from um, someplace in Europe. I think it might have been London and at the London airport. And uh, it was the Gucci Marmont bag. I think that's the super mini bag, just like the classic one in the black with the gold hardware. And I had hinted that I was interested in that bag, but I wasn't totally sure. And so the person went ahead and purchased it for me. And then when I actually got it, I realized that um, it wasn't quite the right bag for me. So I had to return it in my home country and they were perfectly good about that. And so I have actually purchased the bag or at least I have, maybe I haven't purchased the bag, but I did receive a bag from another country and then returned it in another one. Okay, so my next question is, never have I ever bought three bags at one time? Okay, so I have not. So I've never really had like a haul where I have had three handbags at one time, but I have definitely purchased two handbags at one time, multiple times. And I think the reason why sometimes I purchase two things at the same time is because the one bag doesn't seem to meet all of my needs. And also I like things that are opposite. So if I purchase 
like a black bag. Like I suddenly feel like I want the next bag to be a white bag or a color bag or something the opposite of the bag I just purchased. And so I know I have a tendency to do that, to kind of like fall in love with two very different things at one time. And so the temptation to buy two bags at one time is very strong for me or it has been strong for me in the past. So I'm going to say I've not bought three bags at one time, but I have bought two at one time. Okay, the next question is, never have I ever bought a bag because a celebrity had it. I'm going to say I have. In fact, my very first sort of like nice bag was a bit of an inspiration from Lauren Conrad. It was like a Mark by Mark Jacobs bag, kind of looked like the doctor bag. And I actually got inspiration from a random person at the mall who was carrying a Marc Jacobs bag. But then when I saw uh, Lauren Conrad in some pictures wearing it, I decided for sure that I wanted it. And I also purchased the Louis Vuitton Speedy because I'd seen the late Audrey Hepburn um, with it in several pictures. So I definitely purchased the bag because a celebrity had it. There's actually another question on the same paper that I didn't cut. So it says, never have I ever bought multiples of the same bag. And I have, I have definitely bought multiples of the Louis Vuitton Pocha Essessoir in the Dami Amen print. That is my very favorite bag. And so it is discontinued. And so I have a backup for that bag. But I've also bought like the same design bag in different prints, like the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in both the Azure and monogram print, actually as well as the Aben print. And so I've done that before, but I find that when I'm trying to buy a backup for a bag that I love, I should just get the exact same bag because that's the only thing that'll make me feel secure about having, you know, the same bag if anything were to happen to the first one. Buying multiples of the same bag in different colors. Yes, like I do do that. Like in fact, I'm just thinking right now, I have two walks, one's in black and one's in pink. And so I do have a tendency to buy multiples because like I just like what I like and so I just go with it so definitely I have for that one next question is never have I ever bought a bag because an essay pressured you or pressured me I'm gonna say I definitely have and this happened a lot more when I was younger I was there were two tactics I remember that the essays were using one of them was that, oh, this was a new release and this was the only one. And another one was um, saying that, oh, somebody else was looking at this prior to you. And if you don't purchase this today, I'm sure they're going to purchase it. Well, I don't fall for those tactics anymore, but I did when I was much younger. And that really felt like pressure. And nowadays, I actually feel like the nicer the essay is, the harder it is to say no, because they are working so hard for your business. But um, I find that the best way to deal with that is to be true to yourself and then to be polite whether you purchase the bag or you don't okay so the next question says never have i ever cried over a bag and i'm embarrassed to say yes i have cried over a bag it was i think the prada promenade bag in a pink color and the reason i cried over is because i was trying to make a certain deadline to have that bag and prada continually didn't have it available for me and so I know that a lot of other things were happening in my life at that time. Like if I could explain to you, you'd understand. So I wasn't actually crying over that bag per se, but on that particular day, it was sort of like the last straw with a bunch of other things that were happening. And so I felt like, you know, that triggered me to actually cry, but it wasn't just because of the bag. But yes, I'm going to say I have cried over a bag. We shouldn't do that, but yes, I have. <laughs> okay, so the next one says, never have I ever fixed your own bag or fixed my own bag with glue or markers. And I definitely have. I have used crazy glue a lot more than I like to admit in terms of fixing little parts of my bags, whether it is something that is peeling. Actually, mostly it's because something is peeling and I've just kind of like glued it back down. Of course, there's a little bit of a mark, but I feel much more secure that like it's probably not going to lift anymore right and it's usually a very very small spot i don't think i've used <laughs> markers or anything like that right but i just put it that there in case anybody has but i've definitely repaired my own bags okay never have i ever drove over five hours to buy a bag and i'm gonna say i think i have not the farthest i've driven is probably just a couple of hours and even that that's pretty long but um, I have purchased bags, for example, in other countries, but I didn't specifically go to those countries to buy those bags. So I'm not going to include that, but I've not driven five hours to get a handbag. Okay. Never have I ever hid a purchase from a partner. So I'm going to say 
I have not. Um, never have I ever regretted a purchase as it was happening and I have and this happened actually just a few months ago when it was around the holiday time I really wanted to get something for myself and so I went to YSL which I don't own anything from YSL so it was very exciting to go there for me and I saw a bag that I liked I also went to Gucci and I was talked into like a very popular bag that was actually really beautiful and I was also looking at something at Louis Vuitton. And so in, in the end, I decided to buy the Gucci bag. And as I was handing over my credit card, I knew I was going to regret it because it wasn't something that I had researched ahead of time. And I remember driving back and just kind of like trying to give all the reasons why this was a good purchase. And then the very next day I did return it. So I have actually felt regret as it was happening, but didn't know what to say. And like, you know, was entirely sure and, uh, you know, went through with the transaction. Okay, next one says, never have I ever went to three of the same stores in one day for bag hunting. Um, I have, there are three Louis Vuitton stores. I wouldn't say close to me, but they're within, you know, like a reasonable distance to get to. And I was looking for like any of the Louis Vuitton bags. Like I'm pretty sure for all the Neverfulls that I have purchased, I did go around looking for one that was perfect in terms of its stitching and its, you know, like overall construction. So I have done that. I wouldn't do that anymore because I don't have the time anymore, but I've done that in the past. Never have I ever bought a bag because it was trendy, but you thought it didn't look that great. Hmm. I'm going to say I have not. Never have I ever bought a bag knowing it was going to be super impractical. So this one I have. And the most recent one I did that with is not really a bag, but it was like a really small Chanel card holder that I had made into a bag. So if you want to see how I did that, um, I will probably put a link over here so you can see like the smallest Chanel bag ever. And of course, it is super impractical. And what I didn't mention in my last video is that I did also sell that as well. So I didn't include that in the bag category because I, while I was trying to use it as a bag, it really is an SLG. And so when I purchased it, it was, I know that I knew that it was just for fun. And so I knew that it was going to be super impractical and I went ahead and did it anyways. Okay. Next question is never have I ever bought a bag for one outfit or one occasion. Okay. I'm going to say it's kind of like I have not, but I have purchased the bag for like going on a trip like I knew that I was going to use it heavily on the trip first and so I, so I would say that, that that could be included in terms of an occasion but I did use obviously the bag after the trip as well but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I've not bought a bag just for one outfit or for just for one occasion okay the next one says never have I ever regretted selling a bag and for all the bags that I have bought and sold before I'm gonna say I have not regretted selling the bags I did I have a slight, slight hankering for some of the walks that I've sold in the past, but none of it is a regret. And so I'm going to say um, I usually trust my instincts about when things uh, need to leave my collection. And so I've not regretted selling a bag. And the last question is, never have I ever went into debt over a bag? And I'm going to say I have not. So if you would like to do this tag, please like let me know if you've done it and so I can see some of your answers. I hope this was fun for you that nobody takes it too seriously like you know we all do various things and some might seem crazier to others for the love of handbags i know that when i was really buying into the luxury handbag culture how much i really 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 was into it and really loved them and so i have done some things that i wouldn't do now because you know my interests and priorities have shifted but when i think about the good times in the past you know, like it was a lot of fun, even though there were also some frustrating times as well. So I'll be curious to know some of your answers for the never have I ever uh, tag handbag edition. And until next time, I wish you all perfect days. Bye. Bye.